I'm going to explain the divvy out strategy for division. The first thing to recognize is with all division, with 282 divided by 6, I'm taking 282 and dividing it into 6 equal groups. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw my 6 equal groups. 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, I relate divvy out to um, dealing out cards. With dealing out cards, you pass out cards one at a time until you've dealt out the whole deck. Right here, we want to pass out or divvy out 282 until every single part of that has been divided into our equal groups. One thing to recognize is that we don't want to do one, 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 because that would take forever when we have a number like 282. We want to do you pass out larger chunks. One thing to remember though is that you want to make sure that they're easy numbers. For example, tens. So we can go 10, 10, 10, 10 in each group. So now out of the 282, we've divvied out 10, 20, I'm sorry, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So over here to the side, I want to have my 282, and I want to keep track of how much of that 282 I have divvied out. So right here, I said 60. I subtract. 8 minus 6 is 2. And 2. So I still have 282 out of the 282 left. The fact that 60 left me with so much left, I know that I want to pass out larger chunks this time. So I'm going to try 20. 20, 20, 20 in each group. So now I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. Go back over to my problem and subtract out the 120 that I just divvied out. That leaves me with 102. Now I know that I can't do 20 again because when I did 20, that was 120 and I only have 102. So now I'm going to try, try um, a smaller amount. I'm going to go back to 10. 10 in each group. And from before I remember that that was 60. Just to double check though, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Now I have 42 out of my 282 left to divvy out or to pass out. Now, some kids might uh, recognize that with six groups, if I have 42, that six times seven would be 42, and they would put seven in each group. Some might not. If that's the case, uh, then you would maybe they would want to try something small like five or two. So say we did that. We didn't recognize that six times seven is 42, and we did fives. Five in each would be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I subtract that, and I have 12 left. And hopefully at this point, uh, the students would recognize that 6 with 12 remaining, it would be 2 in each group. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So that's the final 12. Subtract, and I have 0 left. Now, where's my answer? My answer is not right there. My answer is in how many I have in each group. I do not want to add up all of my circles because that would give me the 282 that I started with. I want to find out how much is in each of my six groups. So each of my six groups has 10, 20, another 10, 5 and 2, which is 7. So I'd add those up and I would get 47. So my answer is 482 divided by 6 equals 47.